Um, I assume by now most of y'all probably are aware of the current standing of the general election in the United States of America. Popular vote. Electoral College, blah, 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 presidential, whatever the fuck. And most of you by now probably have seen that Donald Trump has won the majority of Electoral College votes, thereby assuring him victory in the presidential race. Now, I've mentioned this many, many times on this channel and in my videos that I am a trans person. I have a lot I have a lot to lose from Donald Trump being elected president. But I also know I'm also a rational person, at least I try to be, and I know full well that uh the president doesn't have as much power as people think. Like, I mean, for God's sake, we could just fucking impeach him if we if we if we really tried. But I've also heard that apparently um we now have a Republican Congress, like like conservative majority House and Senate, and I sincerely hope that those conservatives are not the fuck asses they've proven to be over the last however many terms have gone in recent memory. Relatively recent, at least in cultural, re culturally recent memory. But if they choose to support him, then a lot of terrible things could happen. Now, it's, it's difficult to say what is going to happen and what isn't going to happen. We can only talk in, like, hypotheticals for now, because this is, this is unprecedented. This is... This is somebody winning the presidential election who has been has been like shunned and denounced by members on both sides of the popular political parties and somehow has still managed to fucking win. And what scares me, what scares me the most is that somehow there are millions of people in this country who actually believe that Donald Trump would be a good leader, a good ambassador, that he represents, like, you know, the the majority of folks in this country's uh, uh, ideals and opinions and all that stuff. What scares me is that that's been proven true he represents a majority in this country. And the majority has supported a blatant racist, a misogynist, uh, just, you know, a flat-out bigot, an asshole, a really, really, really awful person, a person who... Uh, God, what do I even say about this? Oh, um, in case you couldn't tell by now, uh, if, if you voted for Donald Trump, if you're watching this and you voted for him, you're welcome to hit a dislike on this video, but I also want you, if you're subscribed, to unsubscribe, and then I want you to never come near me ever again, because holy fucking shit, you are a terrible person. If you support him, if you think that he deserves to be president... I sincerely hope that that belief comes back and not only bites you in the ass, but tears your fucking face off. I'm... I'm scared. I'm very scared right now. I... Uh, God. There are so many people who are who are the racist asshole that you hope you never meet, and they are the misogynist, misogynistic asshole you hope you never meet, and they are the sexual offender who's never caught and in fact is praised, and they are 
all of these things, they are the police officers who shoot black people and kill them like every fucking day for no goddamn reason other than racism, racial profiling. All of these people are who Donald Trump is resent is representing, and he won a majority vote of the whole country. I... I was... Many months ago, when the jokes and the memes started to pop up of when he started actually becoming, you know, the Republican frontrunner, uh, pop up of, you know, moving to Canada en masse, large migration, I was jokingly on board. I, uh, I actually now strongly feel like I might need to reconsider. Not Canada necessarily, but somewhere else until the dust settles if it ever does i mean for all i know this shit storm there could be it could never settle we could just end up like fucking jupiter for all i know infinite storms they never end to all of you out there who know full well what a terrible mistake this election has been uh I sympathize. If you're if you're scared, if you're terrified like I am, don't worry. We're all in the same boat. All we can really do is just kind of just just keep going. As one of my friends said, put it just go one day at a time and try to Try to try to fight back, but I guess don't be so overt about it, because, you know, if you're not a white male and you're overt about fighting back, I don't know, you could get shot to death. You could get you could get raped, and you know, whoever whomever shoots you or or sexually assaults you wouldn't be punished because our representative leader does that, or at least supports that shit, represents those people. Why couldn't they? I mean, for fuck's sake, we just went from our first black president to our f first to a president who's wholeheartedly endorsed by the KKK. Why? What is this? What is this country? I mean, I know people say the U.S. has a high standard of living relative to the rest of the world, or at least a large part of it, and you know they're probably right. But standard of living. Being high, being in a rich country does not mean that this is a good country and does not mean that the decisions that our leaders and our people make are right. I honestly believe Hillary Clinton would be a good president, and I feel that way because she's been in politics for a long time. She's always had close ties to presidents ever since her husband was elected. I mean, there are a few people in the country who are as qualified as her, to be everything that a president is meant to be. And and people decided to protest vote against her because she she's lied, which is fair, I guess, but you don't protest vote against a liar by electing someone as atrocious as Donald Trump. You don't do that. That's stupid. That's just flat out stupid. Stupid. That's not even- okay. This entire video is just the sound of my stomach grumbling and my trembling voice while I'm trying to just sort of- trying to think of something to say- oh by the way, uh, Action updated my recording software. It looks all funny now, doesn't it? It's all squares. <laughs> I have always had a, a different, like, the way I define stupidity I used to think that ign being ignorant and being stupid were the same thing, and I learned later being ignorant is just not knowing something, and being stupid is willingly not knowing something, and there's a huge difference, and I feel like everyone who voted for Donald Trump is being a dipshit. They are being stupid. There's no ignorance here. They just needed to hear one bad thing about his opponent, and they'd vote for him. Because he's a safe bet for... All the all the white men, and like 
well, he's not a safe bet for any of the white women in the country, but a lot of them probably voted for him anyway. Because, wouldn't you know it, racism never really died in the U.S. I don't know. I have a lot on my mind, and I'm dreading going to work tomorrow, because... I mean, I like my job, but I don't want to deal with anyone right now. All I really want to do is go somewhere that actually feels safe. And even, even my own room in this house with a roommate that is really cool, and his sister who never talks to me, even in this house... Where everything is secure, I am... I feel on edge. I'm scared. I don't know if I'm gonna get to sleep tonight. Anyway, I'm making this video before the final results, you know, have even been completely counted up, but as long as Trump has a majority of the Electoral College, which he does now, he's gonna win. Um... This channel has been barren for a little while, and... I don't expect that to change anytime soon, but, uh, you know, I might just start becoming more vocal about my, my opinions and my ideals, because usually I try to be laid back and fairly chill, and I'll mention them sometimes, but not often, but now I'm thinking, holy shit, I've got even, even a little bit of a soapbox, I gotta use it. 320 subscribers? Sure, that's that's enough that's enough people that I might be able to help someone if they're afraid like I am, or I might be able to get someone to see that this is fucked up and maybe they'll try and fix it, or I, I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to get out my webcam so you could see my facial expression and know that I'm not like just bullshitting because you know, without without seeing someone's face while they're talking, it's kind of difficult to, to glean, like, their tone or their attitude. But you can probably hear it in my voice, can't you? Trembling. Fear. Resignation. I'm not quite... I'm, I'm like... I'm not even... I'm somewhere in the five stages of, of grief, but I don't know where. I'm not in denial. You can't deny this. This is this is objectively happening. This is the reality. This is the truth. I'm not angry. I I mean, anger isn't going to do any good. I'm just scared. I'm just fucking scared. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. This has been 13 minutes of me just trying to parse my thoughts by vocalizing, and I think it's working a little bit. My experience as a YouTuber comes in handy sometimes. <laughs> makes it it makes it easier to to get thoughts out in a in a smooth manner manner. Although this has been fairly jarring as far as my typical commentary goes. A lot of stops and starts. That's how I usually talk. Fun fact. If you ever talk to me IRL, that's typically how I go. Bit at a time, a little bit of buffer. I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna try and find something to eat. Maybe go for a walk. Actually, I'm afraid to go for a walk right now. <laughs> Although I'm in Seattle. This is a li fairly liberal area. <sighs> to those of you who are affected by this, stay safe. Deep breaths. If you've got someone you can, find someone to just kind of just hug him. And to those of you who supported Donald Trump, go fuck yourselves. All of you. Seriously. You've done far more harm than, than, than good. Just straight up. Let's see how things pan out. He doesn't take office until until uh, January, right? February, something like that. Maybe we maybe we have some time to relax, figure stuff out. God, what a mess.